Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Today, we're going to talk about how to set your ground drive pump and uh, some questions that I get a lot with these ground drive pumps. They're super simple, easy to use. I love putting them on planters and uh, several different, uh, any time I can use them really, because they're just so simple and reliable. So let's dig in and talk about how to set your John Blue pump. So a lot of people might be familiar with the slide chart that comes with these John Blue pumps and uh, they can be really handy. You, you need to figure out your tire sizes, your sprocket sizes, your loaded radius of the tire. And there's a lot that goes into that. You can also, uh, John Blue's got a really handy service center. Uh, you can call online and, and they'll help you set it as well. But I'll tell you an easy and simple way that I like to set it. So, it, and it actually has nothing to do with the pump. It does, but let's start here at this orifice chart. I've talked a lot about this. This is a T-Jet chart. It's nothing special. It's available everywhere online. But what I do is if you're running a John Blue pump, you have either a metering tube or an orifice in row for every row to regulate your pressure. So let's say I pick an orifice that is set for 30 PSI. So what I do is I put a little bit of water in my tank and I drive my planter five miles an hour and I look back at my gauge and see where my gauge is. If my gauge is only at 20, I know that I need to increase my pump rate. So I'll go from the four that it's on to five because I know that if I choose my orifice to run at 30 PSI, I have to be putting out 30 PSI no matter what pump setting, no matter what your slide chart of the John Blue pump says, we're just looking for 30 PSI. So we're just going to adjust our pump. Now the key here is you have to be doing this at your planting speed. When you choose your orifice, you have to have that speed input. So if your desired speed is five miles an hour, drive five miles an hour, look back at your gauge and adjust your pump until it is at the same pressure that you chose your orifice at. Again, in this scenario, it's 30 PSI. Now, if you caught early on, I said water, that's gonna get you pretty close. When you put your actual fertilizer in and go to the field and start planting, you may have to adjust the pump and tweak it a little bit more with that fertilizer because it's a different weight than the water. But I get a lot of calls on how to set the John Blue pump. It's real easy. Figure out what pressure your orifice was chosen at and adjust your pump until you are reading that same pressure on your gauge at your planting speed. Super simple. Don't care what the chart says. I don't care what setting you end up at here. Adjust the pump until your pressure on your gauge at the red balls matches the pressure you chose on the orifice. Because we know that in order to get the correct gallon per minute per row, we need that back pressure pushing against that flat disc orifice. So just set this pump to match it and you're good to go. Thanks for tuning in.